you have noticed I pressed the horn there? It's because on this bike they've switched the horn and the indicator positions. But to be fair, I've only done it twice out of a couple of dozen indicator uses, so... Brakes are keen beyond belief. I've been basically fighting not to get thrown over the handlebars every time I breathe on the, the front brake lever. Can't complain, but they are incredible. When I was reading the um, write-ups on this, it said the brakes weren't that good. Well, I've got ABS, which I didn't have on the 1200 and these brakes just grab now this bike weighs 265 kilograms the Kawasaki I think weighed 225 so you're sort of looking at a, a whole teenager extra bike but you wouldn't think so. The riding position is quite a lot different. I'd go with, on the Kawasaki, I felt as though I've sat in the bike. Right now I feel as though I'm sat on the bike. These are things I'll get used to, I'm sure. Now, I'm on my favourite lane, summer lane. So let's have a look, eh? There's no way to complain about the power at all. When I got on it and I, I, I rode away from my front door, I thought, Jesus Christ, what's this? And it, um, I had to take things easy for a bit. These are things that you just get used to, aren't they? Just a case of riding a bike. does feel different going into corners and of course I do notice it's a shaft drive, you can feel the extra direct connection, it, it is you get an immediate response Ooh, I hope that bird didn't leave a mess on me fairing So I'm finding myself just a bit wary about touching the front brake. Ooh. They say the suspension is not that bright, but I'm not feeling any, any issues with it at all. And it has got uh, an aftermarket exhaust and an aftermarket seat on it and the seat is feeling quite comfy no idea what it would be like on a, a very long ride not until I do one and it has
has kind of a weird sound stood by it, it sounds great it sounds great actually when you're riding it to be fair as well but it does sound a little bit different it's almost as if it's a three cylinder bike I'll have to practice some low speed on it as well so I get used to that um, that shaft. But for the moment this is just a quick ride out, get a feel for it and then get it home, put it away, hopefully without scratching it on the wall until I can get out on a proper day's ride on it. get into this car park eh? and then turn around a bit. I'm going to go back and have a pee apart from anything else. There's not a lot wrong with its handling at low speed you know. It's pretty solid. Raymond, you stalled it, you little bugger. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. When you stall it, you know about it. without acceleration at all, that's bloody brilliant. a lay by here. Let's get in and have a pee. Hopefully there's nobody around. Oh shit. Okay, see how it is at very, very, very low speeds. 12 mile an hour. First things first, you sit on it and you feel as though you're sat on it. And Kawasaki used to feel as though I was sat in it. Um, you're a lot higher up above the, the windscreen and it is a bit windier, to be fair. Um, the brakes, Jesus Christ. The write-ups on it in Motorcycle News says the brakes weren't that good. Well, I reckon if I have to stop in an emergency on this bike, the bike will stop, but I'll be up over the handlebars, I'm bloody sure of it, because my god, have I nearly been over the handlebars on this a couple of times already. They are right about the indicators. The indicators uh, are put where the horn normally goes, and the horn is put where the indicators normally go. And I have hit the horn button twice already, and when you bear in mind that I've only used the horn once in about the last five and a half years on the on the Kawasaki, that's a, a big thing. A couple of things I, I notice on it right now. Uh, I, when I try to put a camera on the front, I can't get it to stick. So I'm going to have to work on that. I'm going to have to find somewhere where it'll go, where it'll stick. But at the moment, it's not having it. Um, I was hoping to use a suction mount so I don't go messing with the paintwork or anything like that but uh, 
I don't know, it doesn't look to me as though I'm going to get away with it, but I'll, I'll, I'll continue to try. Top box is a bit small. Um, my top box on the Kawasaki was usually at 52 litres. This is nowhere near that. I doubt this is even half it. But I did get a case. Ah, great stuff. It's on. A uh, bit of an angle. wonder if I can twist it. Right, that's one place I can put a camera without messing up the paintwork. I haven't looked in the panniers yet, but uh, this is the bag. That's how much space I get inside. It's not a great deal. I think it'd probably hold one helmet. So easily half the size of me Kawasaki one. I wouldn't describe it as a snug fit. That's all right. I wonder if I've got bags in these as well. Yes. Okay, so camera taken care of, I can do. Uh, sat nav. I've no idea where the hell I'm supposed to put the sat nav. You know, it's going to have to go in there, isn't it? Uh, not sure I'm happy about that. I'll have to have a look. It handles much better than they give it credit for. I'm not going to switch the engine on, it's in first gear. Um, handles a lot better than they give it credit for, to be fair. Um, once you're used to it, it'll be... I'll be flying. Uh, what's it got on it? Uh, I'll have Metzler's on it before long, but uh, it's got Pirelli's. Um, tidy, really tidy. It has got crash bobbins on it, which is handy for me, but you know full well, if I put this on the floor, the fairing's going to get it, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure about range. Uh, there's nothing here. There's one for air temperature. Personally, I'd want something to tell me how far I've got sort of left in the tank. But I can change all of that when I get home and start meddling, can't I? It's got... Somebody has spent a lot of money on this. It's... Um, these aren't the original levers. Do you know what? I don't know what these things are. When I was um, reading up on it, let's have a look, see what it does. All right, so that's where the indicators are. That's fine. But you've got these little lights on the side, and it said something about leveling lights. I have absolutely no idea what that means. But it looks to me like they might just be side lights. There's the horn. There's the indicators down there. I have no idea what that is. Uh, wonder if it's heated handlebar grip. I've got to admit, I'm happy. It will take me a little while to get used to this because it does ride and handle different. Very different. Right, got hazard. Can I switch them off? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd help, wouldn't it? Um, I don't know what the rest are. I'm going to have to check it. I know that's a starter. I know that. I know that's the engine kill switch. Um, one of the things I'm happy about, it's got no real rider aids on it. So there's nothing on this like modes. There's nothing for like rain or snow or anything like that. And there's nothing for me to set up on it apart from sit on it and ride the bloody thing. And I'll be blunt, that's how I think it's, I prefer it to be. I just want to sit on the bike and ride it. Um, I'm not, I'm not keen on all the latest gizmos and everything. It's got a centre stand. I was wondering about that. Yeah, but it's got one. That's great. You know, I don't really want to make any changes to this. Right. Let's get off home, eh? I wasn't planning to stay out for very long, and I haven't. It's, um, 
I'm not sure if that clock's right as it happens, but we'll see. <sighs> Beginning to feel comfortable with the acceleration already. Beginning to feel more normal than it did when it first started. It was like bloody hell. Whoop. And the camera's gone. Let's get out of this bend. <laughs>